Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Now today we are with a new problem 2627 debouncing. You can see here today's problem is debouncing. First of all, we should know what is in a debouncing. Debouncing is an important concept in uh, JavaScript, not only in JavaScript, any programming language basically. Let's see it here. First read the question. Given a function fn and a time t in milliseconds t, return a debounced version of that function. So they will give one function and we should make it in a debounced version of the function. What does it mean by that? If I go down, it is saying it a debounced function is a function whose execution is delayed by a t seconds, t milliseconds and whose execution is cancelled if it is called again within that window of time. Basically, uh, debounced functions people will use it like uh, imagine uh, I just asked some send OTP function okay when you click on send OTP automatically what will happen you will get the OTP to your mobile immediately you click on that button again 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 so will you get four OTPs and it will actually a problem because each and every OTP the uh, client will get a pay so instead of this, I will click on OTP send button and I will give one second time. If you see it in most of the website, it will take it like some seconds, uh, one second, one minute, they will take it like 59, 58, they will count the seconds. After one minute only, you will have a chance again to send back and another OTP. So even in between, if you try to do also, it will not work. Not only that, let's take it in a simple example of Amazon. If I go here, Amazon, so here what is happening, uh, the search bar is there. Now if I go here, if I right click on this, if I go down uh, to inspect, let's go here network bar and here I am just typing it, imagine I type B, see some API is calling for B suggestions but I suggested O, O, K, yes see and i'm typing it more and more the more i am typing it the more it is sending the request so this many requests it is happening it in the api won't this request cost some money to the api it is so we shouldn't do this many requests it will actually reduce the performance of an application instead what we will do whenever someone write it here b or something trying to type instead of giving it b we will take it one second in this one second maybe he enter something book then we will check for the book maybe another one second if he tries to call again writing 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 and he, we won't call until a one second happen or a one till ten seconds happen after that only we will send a request so we will give a function a delayed time and that function will not be called again in that particular delayed time this is called debouncing which is very important now here they are asking an minified version of the debouncing and they said it the uh, simple examples where they mentioned the sometimes and within the time frames if they called it will not work and it should not work that is true they just explained it within a graphs also and here let's take it let's take it in detail imagine here they take it a time 50 seconds 50 time is 50 seconds and he is calling it first time when he is giving the input 50 seconds it will call if it is 75 seconds again next time 75 seconds so what will happen initially the 50 seconds after that the first call happened and then again another 75 seconds so the second function will run after 125 seconds basically the 50 plus 75 so this basic logic they are uh, saying it even they explained you the logic with some kind of date dot now uh, date dot now will take it the current uh, you know date with a particular time in milliseconds and they are uh, taking it as a starting one whenever the function starts and later they will execute with after a particular time and then they will subtract it so that they will understand how much time it will take now the same function we want to implement now let's implement here the same function on ourselves where debounce function fn t so they are we are writing one function debounce and the function is taking and another function and uh, uh, time t seconds 
and here uh, we are uh, returning in a function with an arguments let's do it here first declare some kind of timer let timer equals to null initially there is no timer only and after the timer null inside this the moment it goes imagine see first time it calls it has to set some timeout but what if it calls again and again and again here you need to do two things one is setting the time that the function will be called after some particular time and you should also consider clearing out the time the previous time whenever it is calling it again in this particular time you should not get called so that you should clear out so there are two functions which i will suggest here when is clear timeout and one is set timeout clear timeout timer and here set timeout set timeout which will take kind of a callback function which is function and having in a time t and having dot 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 ox which will be so th this is nothing but the time uh, set for this particular function sir let's see how it will work which is nothing but timer is equals to so that this timer will get set up on let's run it yeah which works with now 59 milliseconds so it w works with all three cases and just try to implement your own minified version of sending an otp or sending an api call you can make it to this particular function as an api call which will be called only in particular times uh, that's it for today and in case if you want to learn more you can check it on the lead code playlist which we have and thank you all